All right, hello, it's me, Clock here, and we're playing Killer Traits, the demo, uh, made by the same dev as Where Winter Crows Go. It's a horror visual novel. Dating sim? Ugh. What time is it? Yeah, what time is it? It's 7.30 a.m.? Okay, still good. Thank God I set the alarm yesterday. Properly, this time. No matter how much I want to, binge watching anime so late into the night isn't a very good idea when I have to wake up early. Well, not every night at least. Changing? As soon as I give my limbs a good stretch, I check the notifications on my Hoodle calendar. Excuse me? Hoodle? Was that like the Femboy Hooters calendar? <laughs> Big day at work, get up super early. My lips form a smile. Once I finish brushing my teeth, I get dressed and grab my satchel. Wait, I'm missing something. I give a quick glance to the room until I find what I'm looking for right on top of my desk. Here you are, you little rascal. You. Pick it up. It reads. Input your name. Bro. I'm not fish eggs. We are chat. It's always for chat. Chat, don't you worry. YouTube too. We're getting you a boyfriend, okay? Choose your pronouns. We're, um, probably they, them, I guess, because chat's kind of a, a they them chat is a is a they them quite literally this identification card certifies that chat darby <laughs> sorry i guess i don't get to pick your last name chat it's just darby who <laughs> uses they them pronouns is commissioned as a criminal profiler by the police department of silver ring city we don't get to keep the boy youtube gets to keep the boyfriend i'm sorry Soon, very soon, there will be a completely new word written on this ID. Just you wait. What is it? Oh, zip up. What name he choose? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Wait a second, but first things first. I can't start the day without a good breakfast. And I forgot I ran out of food. What? <sighs> How do you just run out of food, bro? Man, I love living by myself, but having to buy groceries constantly is such a pain in the ass. Yeah, that's that's part of life. I hope that one day, online delivery evolves to such an extent that everything you buy gets teleported right into your kit. I was gonna say, shut the hell up, you lazy ass, but then he went into teleporting food into your kitchen? I'm not gonna lie, that's... Never mind. That's useful. I'd like that. It doesn't hurt to dream, right? My friend just randomly sent me here. Good. You're getting a boyfriend right now. He may be a murderer. Anyway, not much I can do in the grasp of reality. Guess I'll just grab some something at the coffee shop or whatever. Hmm. Are there any good ones nearby? Haven't had much of a chance to visit any food establishments since I moved to this neighborhood. I take out my phone for my jacket and start browsing cafes with decent hoodle reviews. I'll be lurking later. See you later, nerd. Let's see here. Cub of coffee. 4.5 stars, 25 reviews. Cub of coffee. What? Never heard of this one before. Maybe it's more relatively new? It does seem like a nice enough place. The food looks cute, which is always great in my book. They could just be using like fake pictures. Yeah, I'm sold. Keys in hand, I walk to the door. It's great, okay. Kind of a slow start this one and head out. So we're a criminal profiler. The heck is Hoodle? It's like Femboy Hooters, but in a calendar. Unlike the last couple of days, which were constantly threatened by the heavy rain forecast, this morning is bright and sunny, and there's a breeze in the air. Except there's no femboys, it's just hooters. It's just like owls. Owl calendar. <laughs> Guess the storm passed right through instead of gracing us with its presence. <laughs> you kiss your homies, bro. 
I walk along the road of golden meadows, slowly but surely getting closer to my destination. Well, at least according to Hoodle Maps. <laughs> so why has he brought it up like three times? Is Hoodle sponsoring this game? I don't usually head this way when I would go to work. My brain is usually in auto mode in the mornings. Especially if I need to get somewhere quick. Like, well, my job, if you'll forgive the repetition. Maybe I should reconsider changing my route from time to time. For such a bustling city, this park is pretty chill. I don't think I've seen more than a few joggers and one or two people walking their dogs. Still, why is it called Golden Meadows? Wouldn't it make more sense to call it Silver Meadows, given that we're in Silver Ring City and all that jazz? Jazz hands. The trees don't even get that golden during fall. Boyfriend equals homie? I mean... Yeah, yeah, if your boyfriend's your homie, yeah. Yeah, but homies can just be homies, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I definitely need some coffee if I'm already thinking about random shit like this. True. True, bro. Who the fuck cares about Silver Ring City in a gold park? Two blocks of walking later, my journey has come to an end. You've arrived at your destination. I close Hoodle Maps and enter the cafe. Er, uh, ads. Sorry, chat, you'll just have to watch on YouTube if you want, uh, non-bothering ads, I guess. The distinct smell of coffee hits me straight away. Several pastries can be seen near the register, too. What do we got here, boys? What do we got? We got... A loaf of bread. A We're in fucking France. That's a fucking baguette. And that's a baguette. Oh my god. Not the fucking French, bro. It's not that big of a place, but it isn't small either. In fact, the size is just right. Mmm. It adds to the coziness. Mmm. Glance down at the pictures and the reviews once again. Sorry, sorry, chat. I I don't know why I moaned, okay? I just I just thought those words were very on point. They're certainly eye-catching, but they don't do it justice. It really goes without saying. There's some things in life that are better to see for yourself. Welcome. Whoa! Dude, did you just steal my heart? What the fuck? That welcome, though. What was that? It was a perfect voice. <laughs> the warm greeting from the cashier brings me right back to the earth. The name's Arthur. What will you be having today? Oh my god, Arthur. Dude, I'm... I'm not interested in the same sex, but like... I'm interested in you, Arthur. Oh, hi. Sorry, I was a bit distracted. First time. Oh, sorry. First time. I can't do his voice, okay, but I'm gonna try to do a voice. Guess it was too obvious, huh? <laughs> kind of tempted to ask him why he's wearing his coat like that. Uh, maybe he's just a little warm, chat? Chill the fuck out, chat. Come on. To be fair, why are you worrying about his jacket? Bro's wearing leather pants. Bro, leather pants in summer? Is he insane? What can I say? You're not the only first-timer to get lost in thought as soon as they enter. Did you just tell me that multiple men, like, just jaw drop at you? Or women too, I guess. Probably. Scratch that. Why is he wearing one in the first place when he works indoors? Wouldn't a sweater make more sense? Well, you can... Maybe he just likes jackets, bro. Chill. But to be fair, I do try to make this place look as charming as possible. Maybe it's a new trend. Moving on. Let's actually be part of the conversation, chat. Wait, wait. Wait, is he playing- is chat me now? Wait a second, what the fuck? Wait, why did chat just speak in the third person as me? Wait a second, what? Chat? <laughs> wow. Do you own this place? Right on. Right on. That's really cool. I don't know many cafes where you see the owner on the job. You work here by yourself, Arthur. I do have another employee who helps me bake pretty often, but recently he's been handling deliveries whenever he's not at his, uh... Other jobs. Other jobs? O okay. Question mark? Eh, it's not a big cafe, so I don't have to worry too much. I see. Well, that was weird. Weird. I didn't ask. Who asked, nerd? 
Does his employee have a strange side job or something? Do they also wear their coat like Arthur here? Why do I care? Anyway, sorry. I was just trying to make small talk, but uh, got a bit sidetracked. Oh my god, is this fully voice acted? This is great. Are you ready to order? Yes. You. Come here. Oh, right. That's why I came here in the first place, lol. Hmm. Let's see. A glance at the menu hanging by the wall. Part from coffee, tea, and juice. There seems to be a moderate variety of pastries and a few savory options. I just noticed up here it says pizza. Why, is, why do you serve pizza, Arthur? Latte bears. Bear cacino. Blueberry pie. Hi. Is there a theme? Arthur, are you... You got a thing for bears? Hey, yo. Teddy bear roll? Hamburger? Bernard's cobble tea? Someone here is really fond of bears. And puns. Also, who the hell is Bernard? <laughs> I'm having a bit of trouble deciding. Do you have any recommendations? Whoa. Hey, hey, nothing's wrong with a nice bear, okay? First things first, do you happen to be vegetarian or vegan? Uh, nope, I'm good with anything, dude. I'm good with anything. It's nice to see you have some more options, though. Right on. Right on. And is this for here to go? To go. Hopefully this gives me the energy boost I need. Ah, is it an important day? Dude, I, I, I won't be able to copy that voice. I'm so sorry, chat. I can't do it. You do, YouTube, YouTube, please understand. I don't have a sexy voice, okay? I can't do that. You can say that. I have a goofy voice. That's just what I do. I'm the goofy man. Arthur smiles and nods. Of course. Give me five. Harry Pizza. What am I reading in chat? Arthur heads towards the machine a few steps from the register and, in no time, starts grinding some coffee beans. Yeah, I want to see him grind on some coffee beans. Ha <laughs> Did what? That doesn't even make sense. And I want to see it anyways. When he's done with that, I see him grab what looks like a milk frother, and it's then that I realize he's making a latte. Once there's enough foam, Arthur raises the froth milk to a relatively high position and begins pouring it into a paper cup. The more the cup gets filled, the lower he steeps his hand until there's nothing left to pour. Alright, someone really like baristas here when they make this game. Finally, he covers the latte with a lid and grabs a pastry from the glass display. Thank you for waiting. Here's our takeaway latte cub. If you need an energy boost, this'll do the trick. Wow, actually, perfect. Bro, the descriptions. The latte Arthur gives me has an adorable sticker with the logo of the cafe on top of the cardboard sleeve. Guess this little one is Bernard. I love it. It's perfect. Cub of coffee. Really is a very fitting name. Yeah, I, lo I love it. And this is one of our most popular pastries. The Berry Big Bun. <laughs> Dude, no! Don't say it like that, Arthur. Come on. It's filled with custard. Much like its name, the bun is shaped like a bear. Actually amazing, by the way. Actually, I would I would go to this place every day. If I if I lived near a cafe like this, definitely a big hit. A very big bear. So wholesome and out of pocket at the same time? What do you mean? Thank you, Arthur. These look so good. I can't wait to try them. Glad to hear it. Have a good day now, won't you? After see after meeting you, Arthur? A it's very a good day. Whoa. Did you just hit me with another pun? <laughs> I definitely will now. See you. Come again. Arthur raises a hand in farewell as I exit the shop. Never mind. Wow. Fuck the killer boyfriend. Why don't I just date him? What the fuck? That took a, lo a little longer than I thought. He did say, like, three bear puns, but it's okay. It doesn't hurt to have a little push it once in a while. I take out my phone to check the time. 8.30. Holy shit, I'm gonna be late. <sighs> God. I'm dying. Note to self. 
don't run while trying not to spill any coffee. Or any of your belongings, for that matter. Actually, don't run when going to work, period. Thank god this lid is tougher than a fucking marmalade jar. <sighs> well, at least I won't be late now. Still, it's kind of a miracle that I didn't bump into anyone. Ruby Road is pretty crowded today. Wait, I haven't eaten my custard bun? We're waiting for the street light to change. I take a look at my berry bun. That chunkiness. That shine. It's like it's calling to me. <sighs> Please. Okay, if you look at me like that, I guess I'll have to take a bite. Hey, you! Get out of the way! What? I'm just trying to eat my, my bun, man. What? I see a bicycle pro- <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> not a not a bicycle, bro. <laughs> That's not a sexy nose. That's just <laughs> Oh no. Dude on a bicycle just hit me. Wait a second. Ugh. What the <gasps> No! Please, no! The bear bun died. It succumbed to a bicycle's wheel. <sighs> Sorry, let me... What is it? What's this guy's voice gonna be? My fucking god! You've gotta be kidding me! There we go. A little nasally, I guess. That voice. Beat him up. True. I like the way you think, chat. I turn around to spot the identity of the bear bun murderer. Wait a second, what does that say? Trigger happy human. Nice. He hasn't fared much better. The delivery backpack he was carrying has spilled some of its contents too. How in the hell did my latte survive, but not these? The guy glares at me. You. <laughs> Why the fuck didn't you move when I told you to move, dumbass? <gasps> that kind of... Excuse me? Using that kind of language when you hit me, motherfucker? Motherfucker? Uh, better not risk it. Apologize. Fuck this guy. Get mad. <laughs> Get mad. I don't even want to give this idiot the time of day. Ignore him. Wait a second. Okay, good. Good. to Save. What do you think, chat? What do we What do we think? Fight him now. Beat him up. Murder. Catch these hands. I don't like this dude. Just got back in his hot, angry men now. Get mad, murder. <laughs> Fuck this guy, get mad. Yeah, okay. All right, chat, you win. You've got some nerve, asshole. <gasps> huh? Why was Arthur voiced like almost completely, but not this? <laughs> what the fuck did you call me, dipshit? Asshole, shithead, douchebag. Need I go on? How is it my fault when it was you who wasn't paying attention? Funny coming from someone who was lost in fucking La La Land! Excuse me? I was eating a bear bun. A berry good bun. I wasn't even crossing the street! You still need to be aware of your surroundings. That's my line. We continued glaring at each other for a, a few moments. Yeah. Whatever. I don't have time for this bullshit. What? The guy retrieves the spilled contents from the ground and puts them away in his delivery backpack before hopping onto his bike once again. <sighs> Arthur's gonna fucking kill me. Damn it all. Sayonara, dipshit! <laughs> Hope I don't see your ass wandering this street again. <laughs> Dude, no. He's so... Honestly, if I heard this guy talk this much shit, I would have just pushed him off his bike, bro. <laughs> I would have just walked up as he was getting on his bike, just push, just light push onto the ground. Just walk away, man. <laughs> you can't let a dude on a bicycle talk shit to you, okay? You can't. There's no chance he's talking shit to me on his fucking bicycle. <sighs> Hydrating. Make sure to hydrate, chat. Make sure to show him the middle finger before he leaves. God, it's not like me to lose my temper to this extent. But he just pushed all my buttons. I'm watering. I'm choking down. I'm goblin. Hopefully no one from work saw that. I throw the wrecked bear bun in a nearby trash can. Oh, thank god we didn't litter. It's a shame, but I'll just buy another one later. 
Yeah, excuse a good excuse to talk to Arthur again. By the way, I'm pretty sure there's only one love interest in the demo. Sorry, chat. I think we just missed out on our only chance, by the way. Whew, made it. Barely. It's almost 9 a.m. Hydrate time. Well, at least I'm not late. Ugh, God, office. After taking the elevator and walking down the third floor hallway, I arrive at the office of the Criminal Investigations Department. Close call, eh? Oh, uh, Carl? Carl! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I watered up. Not even a minute has gone by and I already have the pleasure of dealing with my desk neighbor. I almost thought you wouldn't make it. Why? Why is his voice a little loud? Maybe we turn down his voice just a little bit. Not like you, not like you at all. Blood ran cold or something. As if. I just got breakfast somewhere else and it was a bit crowded. Whatever helps you sleep at night, kiddo. Stop, man. He sounds... He sounds a little weird. Sounds a little... Oh, shut up, Carl. <laughs> C carl Why'd you laugh like that? Why'd you giggle? Anyway... Why are you holding vowels, Carl? Chat, hate to cut the conversation short, but I need to take care of some really important business. Okay. <gasps> Carl puts a hand on his chest in feigned shock. Come on, kiddo. You're not even going to ask what? Carl's creepy. True. He's also an annoying co-worker. Oh, for the love of... No. Patience, chat. Remember today's special. This is the second time that he's referred to himself in the third person like this. Sure, Carl. What's this important business? It's confidential. Oh my fucking god, Carl. I'm gonna become a fucking co cla office working bully, okay? I have a strong urge to throw my monitor so that it conveniently lands on his head. <laughs> You should see the look on your face. Ah, oh, well. I guess I can tell you. Swivels his office chair around and scoots over to shorten the distance. Then he leans into me with his hand close to his mouth, like he's about to reveal a secret. Hmm. You know David from the second floor? The engineer? Yeah, yeah, him. Turns out, he bought the wrong SD card for the surveillance cameras at the detention center. It's, it's a little loud. I feel like he's a little bit louder than everyone else so far recorded. But okay. And you know this. How? Hmm. Carl grins. Anyway. I happened to arrive early and saw him panic on the phone. Probably talking to his partner or something. Thing is, Guy was scared shitless, going off about how the camps would go full at any moment, about how he could lose his job. For a second there, I read Which Tired Penguin's yeah, message good. as... <laughs> Tired Penguin's message as, Bro's asking to be beat off as well, and I was like, Uh-huh? <laughs> I was like, excuse me, Chad? I thought we didn't like Carl. Can't he go buy a replacement? New can do. He's got to check the CCTV cams for the latest crime scene, kiddo. Let's kill Carl. <laughs> oh, now that you mention it. Anyway. He said he'd replace them tomorrow morning without fail. Again, you know this how? Hmm. Gives me a knowing smile. Really, Carl? You could get turned in for this. What makes you think I won't say anything to the boss? No, oh, kiddo. David's not the only one I've got dirt on. <laughs> Wearing a triumphant smile, he scoots away and stops right at his working spot. Carlisle Renard, better known as Carl, is one of those people who's been working here the longest. Hey, yo, clock? It wasn't me, it was you! For how long, though, nobody knows. Nobody in the department dares to ask him, including me. I don't think he's that much older than us, yet he calls everyone kiddo for some reason. Wait, is... Wait a second. It... Am I Carl? Wait, I'm literally Carl. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. I literally call everyone in my Discord kiddo. 
<laughs> well, everyone except for our division's boss and the chief of police. You can never tell if Carl's blackmailing schemes are just for show or the real deal. How the hell did someone like him become a police officer? Whatever. Get to my own work area right next to the pile of boxes. Someone should really take these away. Why are there still so many paper files? Just digitalize everything! We're in the 21st century for Pete's sake. Who is Pete? Ah. No. Now's not the time to vent your frustrations in a massive cardboard chat. <laughs> Thanks, game. Right as I turn on my monitor, I hear the unmistakable laugh of my superior. Partner. <laughs> Aslan. Oh my god. Morning, boss. Yikes. No, I told you to stop calling me that. It feels so cold and formal. Come on, what did we just talk about the other day? But... Soon enough, we'll be equals, you know. Calling me boss won't be an accurate description anymore. I don't know if I can do this guy's voice. So why not get used to calling me by my name starting now? Equals, huh? I mean... That's only if I succeed in finding the criminal, right? Uh, chat, chat, that was just a figure of speech. You really got- you really think the chief will go back on his word after all the hard work you've put in these past few years? Now let's try again. Morning, chat. Morning, Aslan. That's amazing! <laughs> That's amazing! Out of bean. That wasn't so hard now, was it? I guess not. To think this bundle of energy is my boss. Although I see him almost every day. It's very hard to believe sometimes. <laughs> Carl became a cop due to bribery. True. Unless he's using his out of this world analytical skills, that is. He's not the chief of the criminal investigations department for nothing. Once today's over, I'm going to work alongside him as a fellow detective from now on. No more. No more. Assistant. I don't know how to say that. Uh, no more assistant. I won't be an assistant anymore. So, where we leave off yesterday. There was a lead on Tiger's possible whereabouts. Ah, that's right. Any news on that regard? Unfortunately, just another person claiming to be him. Are you for real? God. What is wrong with these people? Do they seriously think serial killers are a joke? As if I didn't have enough already with the dumbasses ringing the headquarters thinking they've figured out the culprit just because they read Murder on the Orient <laughs> Express. Wait a second, that's... Wait a second, that's a good book. Wait, that's a good movie, too. There's all sorts of people in this world, Aslan. Unbelievable! <sighs> I guess I can see the charm in claiming to be a defender of justice. It's just not the right way. A murderer is still a murderer. <laughs> Good. Good that your friend got it. Good. God, he can get scary sometimes. Wait, is his eye color change? Well, on the bright side, we do know quite a few important details regarding Tiger, don't you think? He's a man, possibly in his late 20s to early 30s, with outstanding physical capabilities. He always uses a sharp object as his killing method, most likely a knife. <laughs> we got a genius, folks. He's bound to use some sort of camouflage or disguise to lower people's guards. And... I take out an envelope from my satchel. He always leaves a calling card. <clears throat> Are you for real? How did you get that? Shouldn't forensics be analyzing it? Oh, they are. Along with everything else at the crime scene. This is just a replica that I asked them to make for us. I'm afraid I don't follow. I have a plan, Aslan. Hear me out, okay? Go ahead. We should make a copycat crime. <sighs> Not a real one, of course, just something that will trick Tiger into coming our way. We could prepare a fake murder and use this replica to alert the media that Tiger is struck again. If this was just any other killer, I doubt it would work. 
This is Tiger we're talking about. Someone with such a strong sense of justice won't tolerate his name being dragged through the mud, even if he knows this is a... That's amazing! You're a genius, chat, chat. What? Ah. Asli grabs my shoulders. For ah. being a killer, Tiger is a prideful guy. If he finds out that the police, no less, is trying to ruin his name, he will lose his mind. Before I can give an answer, Aslan takes the calling card replica out of my hands. In fact, why don't we go even further and make the chief a fake target? Eh? You think he'll agree to it? If it's for a good cause, he won't mind. Partner. <laughs> and I'd consider catching a serial killer who's been a pain in our asses for the last few months to be a good cause, no? Well, when you put it like that, probably yeah. Add a bean. Should I contact the chief for now, then? Nah, don't fret. I'll take care of everything. Are you sure? Yep. I'm not the leader of the criminal investigations department for nothing. Use Carl as the bait. True. Let Boss show you what he's made of before you can't call me that anymore. <laughs> okay, okay. When should we put the plan in motion, then? This evening? What? Are you serious? The faster the better, right? We don't know when Tiger will strike again after all. Not to mention the amount of time he takes from murder to murder is getting shorter. That's true. Can we actually do it? Okay, got it. I'll help with some details we might need to make the story more believable. I even know someone from the Target News Agency who will get here at the top at the drop of a hat once we call him. Partner. <laughs> Partner. <laughs> the way the way he holds his Nah, dude, nah. God, chat chat, what would I do without you? You'd be hopeless. <laughs> you got me there. Okay, I'll go on ahead with the preparations then. Could you send me the number for your contact in the news? I'd like you to have it, just in case. Sure thing, I'll send you a message. Got it, thanks, partner. You're amazing. It's just That's how I imagined him to say it, honestly. <laughs> I'll try. See you later, Aslan. Ta -ta! Nice. Alright. Aslan starts to walk to away towards the hallway until something makes him stop in his tracks. He comes back. Chat. Yes? Congratulations on your promotion. <laughs> Thank you. Ta ta! Smell you later, partner. What a weird morning it's been. Well, no matter. Let's get to work. Nice. Okay, that's the, <laughs> that's the demo. No. Please, no. Okay, good. There's a little bit more. Woo, time goes by fast when you're concentrating. I wonder if Aslan's already finished with the preparations. I only need to call Patrick for the scoop and we'll be all set. Maybe I could get some coffee from the machine on the second floor in the meantime. Excuses, chat, chat. True. Ugh. I'll never get used to these horrible orange stripes on the wall. Who the hell designed this building? <laughs> nice. Orange stripes. Halloween, back again. Thank God I don't have to see them until unless I'm moving around from floor to floor. Anyway, coffee, coffee. Wait a second, huh? Wait a second, bro. I think you wear a coat that looks a lot like someone I saw today. Huh? Who's that? I don't think he's from this division. Wait a second. He seems familiar. When I start approaching him, the red-haired man makes eye contact. Did you, did you fucking dye your hair, bro? <gasps> Fuck. Run away. Disappear. What? Hey! Ah! What the? Aslan's calling. Wait. You would seriously just let a stranger who's not allowed in this building run away? What the? F yeah! Don't pick up the phone! Run after him! Hello? Hey, chat chat. Could you fetch the chief from his office? We're ready to move the plan along. Hi, Aslan. Sure thing. 
Oh, should I call Patrick now then? Nah, don't worry. I already took care of it. What? Are you for real? <laughs> Looks like my catchphrases are rubbing off on you. And yeah, Patrick was glad to help when I told him you referred me to him. I see, that's great. I'll go ahead and get the chief then. Out of bean, that's my partner. With a smile on my face, I hung up my phone and put it in my pocket. Okay, no time for distractions. Let's do this. Let's do this. Chief Barrows, we're ready for the... Hmm? Where is he? That's odd. Why does he have a bunch of trophies? That's so odd. <gasps> it smells like blood. Please tell me this is a joke. He couldn't have been... No, snap out of it, chat. You've got to stop assuming the worst every single time. Let's just make sure first. I take one step. Then another. And another. And another. And another. Until I'm right next to his desk. Then I look behind it. Splawled on the floor over a small pool of blood lies a small card with the image of a tiger's eye. And the unmoving corpse of Arden Barros, the former chief of police. I fucking knew it! <laughs> No, why are you creeping on me, dude? I fucking knew it. There we go, that's the voice, right? Red-haired man comes out from the cupboard on the right side of the desk. What were you planning on doing, bro? Little jerk. This guy was the one on the street. I knew I recognized him from somewhere. He just put on a wig and some makeup to cover his burn scar. You police moron, set me up! <laughs> How did you know? Wait, what? How would he know? How would he know? <laughs> and if he's here, there's no one else he could be but... Tiger? Hooray! You earn a fucking gold star! Now you better tell me what the fuck is going on. Did you kill this guy to try and pin it on me? No, I didn't kill my boss. As much as I want to. Oh, honey, you shouldn't have! <laughs> Why is he yelling? <laughs> Wait, I guess we'll save. I guess we'll do a save. A little quickie. Hey, I didn't do anything. Ex fucking. Ex fucking. Excuse me? Ex, ex fucking. Excuse me? You're the one who killed him. This is bad. I'm gonna lose my job. What the fuck am I supposed to say? <laughs> Dyed his hair with his bl with the blood of his enemy. Yeah, true. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna keep being mean to him, because you guys started mean, so. Ex fucking excuse me? You're the one who killed him. Killed him, asshole. I can't believe you'd stoop so low for, for a fake target. <sighs> oh, now he's a fake target, isn't he? How convenient. Let's kill an innocent man and blame it on Tiger. Surely no one will notice. I have standards, dipshit. <laughs> what? What is that even? You're a murderer. Oh, yeah, because killing is so righteous. <laughs> That's cute, coming from a member of the police. Are we in America? If we're in America, yeah. But if we're not in America, not as bad. This fucker. I hate that I can't deny that. Okay, oh, yeah, never mind, we're American. Fuck. <laughs> never mind, we're corrupt as fuck. Okay, let's suppose for a second that he's actually telling the truth. Who would actually believe that? Like, seriously, the scene is pretty damning. For both of us. Well, if I just arrested him right now, wouldn't that just... And just pin it on him, we'd just be scot-free. Even if you didn't kill him, you don't exactly have a clean record, you know? <sighs> Look, I... Over there! Oh, shit. A number of officers enter the office. I can see a few colleagues peeking from the door's entrance as well, including Carl. So it's true. Unbelievable. It's just as Mr. King said. What? What? Wait, am I being framed? Put your hands in the air. Reluctantly, Tiger does as he says. Can't beat a gun after all. Tiger, you're under arrest for the murder of Arden Burroughs and several other people. You have the right to remain silent. One of the officers handcuffs Tiger's wrists and start leading him to the door towards the door. Make way, make way. This man is dangerous. Wait, they're in the room. We're already... Wait, that's the game? It's over? Wait a second. Before Tiger disappears from my field of view, he glares at me one last time. I won't forget this. I won't forget this. 
keep walking. Hey! I get it already. Once they're out of sight, I turn to the remaining officer in the room. Hey, what did you mean just now? Did you know the chief was murdered even before you came here? He scowls. Playing dumb won't help you, traitor. What? What? What do you mean, traitor? I'm a detective. There's no way to treat your superior. The officer ignores me and points his gun at me. What the fuck? Aslan? Where's Aslan? That's Mr. King to you. Wait, did our... Did our partner just set us up after flirting with us? <laughs> Wait, bro just laid it on thick flirting with me and now he's framing me? Excuse me? What? Unbelievable! You fucking femboy piece of shit. I'm never trusting a femboy again. And, considering your involvement in this, the only place you belong in is a filthy jail. Darby. Chat, Darby. This can't be happening. What? What are you talking about? Involvement? I came here to get the chief just like you told me. Didn't we plan to make him a fake tar- Oh, wait. Didn't we plan to make him a fake target just this morning so that Tiger would make his appearance tonight? For heaven's sake, Darby. How would I even accomplish that in such a short time? Wait, I have the phone records. Right? Right? <laughs> to think you would resort to spouting fallacies and nonsense the moment you get cornered. Yikes. I never expected this from you. Yikes. <laughs> Who, what kind of fucking detective says yikes? No, I... Then again, I never expected you to be Tiger's accomplice either. <gasps> the way you knew so much about him. Wait, is he jealous? Seen the signs. Wait, is he jealous because I was a good fucking cop? No. No, I was just doing my job. <sighs> Please. Take them to the detention center. It can't be. Right away, Mr. King. It isn't true. Someone tell me it isn't true. Chat Darby, you're under arrest for being an accomplice to a serial killer in the murder of Arden Barros. Oh, he just killed the he killed the boss so he'd get the promotion and blamed it on both of us. I can't stop knocking my knees together. My feet are stuck to the floor. What do you mean knocking my knee? Uh, what? What? Knocking my knees together? Bro, what about my balls? I don't even register and the words are coming at me. Just the cold metal of the cuffs against my skin. My legs inevitably start moving when I feel a rough tug on my wrists in order to make me walk. Just a moment, officer. Aslan approaches me and leans in as if he wants to whisper something. Thanks for your cooperation, partner. Did you just do that? Did you just lick my ear? Excuse me? Excuse me? Bro just licked my ear. Wait a second. That better have been a mistake. This fucker. Look, his tongue is out, dude! Bro just whispered in my ear and then licked it as he as he pulled pulled away. This fucker. He was planning to set me up from the very beginning. With my plan! You son of a bitch. Get over here and kiss me on the lips. Wait a minute. Wait a second. I didn't mean to say that. My sudden outburst catches everyone off guard. The officer, my Carly, my colleagues, Carl, all except for him. I'll kill you. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> no matter how much I struggle, no matter how much I scream and flail, I keep being carried off while Aslan grins sardonically. Wait, don't, don't be a, what? Don't fight. They're gonna shoot your ass. Clock? Yeah? What's up? Ah! Stay here. Right after shoving me like I'm the vermin of the earth, the officer closes the door. Don't kill him, please. I'm gonna die. Chat, you're gonna die. It's not good. Damn. Where would I even where would I even go, dumbass? Well, well, go well. Go to the walls. Look what the cat dragged in. Um. Gasp. Wait, they would not let us associate with the prisoner. What? Tiger! Not pleased to make your acquaintance, dipshit. Wait, why did they put us in the same detention cell? Uh, How the fuck should I know? It's not like I'm happy about it either. You're the little dipshit who set me up after all. Oh my god, can you fucking stop that? I already told you it wasn't me. You think I was born yesterday? 
A lot of people in the police force are fucking stupid, but I know a damn smartass when I see one. That's... <laughs> you and that pompous asshole who acts like he's got a lion mane up his ass. Both of you set me up. You're half right. Uh, what? The initial plan was to lay a trap for you with fake target. It was originally my idea, not gonna deny that. But judging from the fact that you got here so quickly without knowing what the hell was going on, and how everyone thought the chief was dead even before coming into the room, I dig my nails in my hands. That bastard must have murdered him and planned to pin the crime on both of us. Huh. And people say I'm a douchebag. Well, you are a killer, even if you say you're doing it for the greater good. Okay. I won't deny it. Oh, alright. I'm surprised you're not losing your shit over all of this, especially considering how you acted before. I mean, even I'm a freaking mess right now. I thought you'd be... angrier. Oh, make no mistake, I'm seething. But I need to cool my head if I want to get out of here and make that- and murder that fucking scumbag. Save time. Yeah. Uh, not if I kill him first. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I still need my job back. Tempting, but that would be a mercy. Not if I kill him first. Also, nice profile pick clock. Thanks. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, if you're new to the channel, by the way, I just recently changed my uh, profile pictures across the board. Got our OC made. I'll be getting more art commissioned of him every once in a while. By the way, hydrate. <laughs> Thank you very much. Not if I kill him first. <laughs> Holy shit! Did that bastard awaken a beast without knowing? Still, it's too early to think about how we're gonna deal with him. We can't do anything while, you, while we're stuck here. Dipshit. <laughs> Why'd you just call me a dipshit, dude? Uh, you're not wrong there, dipshit. Can you stop calling me that? My name's Chat. Well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> no, 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 no. Did he just say the Legend of Zelda line? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that was... <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh my god, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Patience, chat. Patience. You can always punch him later. You must be angry, because I'm still technically part of the reason he's here. Speaking of names, I'm guessing Tiger's not your real name either, right? No shit. Okay, patience over. I swear to God, if you keep it up with this hot and cold attitude, I'm gonna start calling you dickhead for the rest of your life. Fine. The name's Oz. Happy now? <laughs> wow, he's really spilling the beans right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. It's a start. Uh, whatever. So, Oz. We seem to have no... Well, we definitely got off on the wrong foot. But if we both want to get revenge on that walking garbage, we need to cooperate. Work together. Tell you what, Bambi. What? Can you say anything but chat? Bambi? If you can use that giant brain of yours to get us the hell out of here, Big I'm brain. Game. Big brain. I even know someone out there who can help us. Oh, you've got yourself a deal. Oh, uh, please tell me it's not Carl, though. Please tell me it's not Carl's. Guys, should I sleep now or later? Should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go now? You should leave now. Get away from me. We're about to pop off. We're about to kill some cops. Kill some pigs. After discussing the new plan, we wait for a certain someone to show up. Oz nods at me and I get into position. What position, eh, yo? It's showtime. I lie on the floor and close my eyes. <laughs> Excuse me? What kind of position is that? Man, why am I in... 
Why am I in the fetal position on the ground? Excuse me? Alright, you two. Time for your meal. But no funny bit. Hey, what happened? Uh, what do you think happened, moron? Of course they fucking collapsed. B but why? Shit, for the love of... So much for being righteous. All you cops are the fucking same. I need to call for help. Hey! You can't leave them alone, asshole. What if they die? Wh what Die? Oh, God. Didn't They didn't train me for this. I don't even know basic first aid as a cop. This is why America cops suck, man. This is why they suck ass. The guard touches my neck with two of his fingers to feel my pulse. I'll just call someone. He starts fiddling with his clothes. Oh, thank God. I thought that was going to say starts fiddling with my clothes. Oh, please, no. Hold on. Didn't Surveillance catch this this on camera? He just got bitch slapped? What a fucking moron. I'm glad I remembered he was the one on duty today. That was someone this dumb on the police force. Well, he's very athletic, reliable, and kind-hearted. I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> After nabbing the key from the garden and opening our handcuffs, we proceed to undress him so that Oz can put on his clothes. Once we cuff him, Oz takes off his red wig and smudges off his makeup. Okay. All yours. I untie the hairband on the wig and put it on. Those cameras make me nervous. Oh, wait. Sorry. Those cameras make me nervous. Are you absolutely sure they're not working right now? Wow. Oz is a badass, by the way. I, I love that this was my plan, though, and he's getting all the credit in chat. Yeah, don't worry. The memory's full. How do, how do you know? Little old Carl Renard. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Alright, we definitely still can't exit through the entrance, even with the cameras out of the way. And that's not counting the reporters that must be outside. Shit, you're right. How do we leave, then? Hmm. The second floor at the back might be doable. Thankfully, this building has windows on both sides. Sounds good to me. I just hope you don't leave me behind. Unlike the Lion Trash King, I'm not a fucking traitor, Bambi. Wait, are we, f are we besties now, bro? Are we are we broskies? Are we homies? Okay, thanks. Wait, we're homies now. You know what homies do. They help each other escape. <laughs> oh, it was that easy to escape? Wow. You've got guts, Bambi. I'll give you that. You're not so bad yourself. Can't believe we jumped from a window on the second floor and fucking survived. In fact, no matter how good or bad my plan was, I can't believe we even f managed to sneak well enough to go unnoticed. Was our security always this lax? This actually kind of irritates me how easily we were able to escape. Yeah, you're one of the people. <laughs> you work there. Yo, homies, have a good homies kiss each other good night. Hey yo. Wait, remember to kiss the homie goodnight is not gay. True. But oh well. I'm not part of the police anymore. It's only okay. gay if you love them. And I love my homie. Wait, 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 sorry. I think I said that wrong. Wait a second. Wait a second. Fellas, is it gay to kiss your homies? No. The answer is no. Okay, here we are. For the first time since we stopped running, I take a look at the place La Oz has brought us to. And I immediately recognize it. You've got to be kidding me. Bambi! <laughs> For fuck's sake, Bambi. Move your ass already. Arthur's already not going to like this. But we've really got no other choice. <sighs> Alright, lead the way. Please, I, I must see Arthur. He's pretty handsome. Who would have thought? Of all places, a bear-themed cafe. Not that I'm complaining, of course. I love Arthur. Well, uh, welcome to our... Oh, sorry. Welcome to our humble abode. Thank you. Cafe has a bit of a different feeling now that it's empty. Okay. Fair bun time. Give me a sec, okay? I'm gonna go bring Arthur. Ah, sure. Oz heads to the back of the shop and starts going upstairs to what I assume is the floor they live on. Hey, Artie, got some big fucking news to tell you. His voice gets more and more distant. Arthur, you there? Until I can't even hear it anymore. 
really is the same cafe, huh? Which, did you forget what it looked like? Excuse me? I guess the other employee Arthur mentioned this morning must be Oz then. <sighs> I'm pooped. I'm about to sit on one of the nearby tables when the pastries from the shop's counter grabs my attention. Ah, uh, they all look so good. I wonder if... With a bounce in my step, I approach the glass display, only to have my hopes instantly crushed the moment I notice the sign next to the empty plate. We're out of very big buns. <laughs> oh, no, dude. I'm just a cop trying to get his big donut. Bambi. Hey, Bambi. Seems like Arthur hasn't arrived yet. Uh, what are you doing? Before I can muster a reply, he follows my line of sight and hums in understanding. Hmm... Enough said. My pastries are fucking delicious. Oh no, you're the one creaming these bears, dude? No. No. Uh, Come on. Could you at least show some reaction? Actually, I kind of already knew. Uh, what? <laughs> it's funny, to be honest. I was here this morning. But I wasn't already gay. Wait a second. You're gay? Wait a second. What's appealing about this, then? You're shitting me. No siree. I met Arthur and all. Gave me his recommendation. I bought a latte and a pastry and then headed to work. Huh. Get clipped, clock. What, clipped on what? Huh, you don't say. Yep. Well? Uh, well, what? Did you like the bear bun? Please tell me you're joking. Huh? <laughs> Why would I joke about this? Wait, don't tell me. Oh my god, you don't remember? Remember what? A certain incident with a bicycle? For a few seconds, Oz looks like I've grown another head. We're not going to talk about that. Alright, true. Then his eyes widen. Oh fuck, that was you? Lord, give me strength, for I will kick him in the balls. What the hell, dude? I even recognized you with a wig. You can't even remember the poor person you almost ran over? Hey! I was in a hurry, okay? And it's not like I remember every single person I see on the street that I swear at viciously. Clearly. Can't believe I'm actually more shocked about this than having my than having had my bun destroyed. Is my face that forgettable? He's actually just your average New Yorker. New Yorker. New York City. Yeah, I will definitely be picking the kick in the balls option as soon as I can. Don't worry, chat. Can't believe I'm actually... Okay, is my face that forgettable? It's true that we don't usually remember faces from people we don't know, but... <sighs> Look, I'll make it up to you, okay? Most of the pastries, pastries and desserts we sell here are made by me anyway. Really? Why are you surprised now? No, I mean, Arthur said that his other employee helped him bake, but I didn't think you actually made everything on the menu. Not everything, just the sweet stuff. Arthur handles regular cooking in the drinks. I see. Eh, it's whatever. Water under the bridge and all that jazz. Just hands. Good thing we made it, eh? Wait, he's a Canadian? Wait a second. Yeah, thank God. Not God. Thank us. We're the ones who got out. <laughs> I guess you're right. Yep. Home sweet home. I wouldn't be... So oh, sorry. I wouldn't be so sure. Arthur, where were you, man? I was looking all over... For you. Uh, shit. Oh, shit indeed. He does not look happy. Ozzy. You've got a lot of nerve asking me where I was, Ozzy. Yeah. Osborne? Look, I did what I had to, okay? I even wore my usual wig and makeup. It was obvious as hell they had some dirty trick up their ass, but I couldn't get just let a copycat. Oscar! Oscar! That is exactly the reason why you shouldn't have gone. Why do you never ever think about the consequences of your actions? This impulsive nature of yours is going to get you killed someday. <sighs> I'm fine. You worry too much. Oscar! I think I don't worry enough. What's the point of being your informant? It, oh, wait, informant? Oh, sorry. He's my... He, oh, he's a... 
he was snooping on me. For sure. If you're just going to do whatever you want. Informant. Hmm. Look, can we consider this some, some other time? I don't know if you noticed, dude, but there's someone else here. You can yell at me all you want later. <gasps> um, hello? Great way to get to know people. Just witness a random argument and hope for the best. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know we had a... Hmm? You look familiar. Y yes, I actually came this morning. Of course. Ah, you're the one who had an important day. <laughs> That's me, all right. I fucked it up. Guess I should introduce myself properly. I'm Chat. Well, once again, it's nice to meet you, Chat. Likewise. They helped me escape the place's detention center. What? Um, well, way to drop a bomb, man. What are you doing? They also work for the police. What? T technically not anymore. Is he doing it on purpose? I need to sit down. Yeah, I bet. Look at Oz, demanding an explanation. He just shrugs. Eh. Meh. I don't like beating around the bush. At least give me a warning next time. Fine. Whatever. I can't believe this guy. Why is this happening? Artie. I'll explain everything. He's hotter than Arthur? Maybe? I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm straight as can be, and I'm not gonna lie. I like Arthur a lot fucking more. Something about Arthur, man. Something about him. Just, just gets me, man. Just gets me, okay? I see. And then he betrayed you. That's rough. <laughs> yeah, soul-crushing, actually. Already. Ozzy. Wait, Ozzy. I need to make sure first. Oz doesn't say anything, but he nods. Chat, you're aware of what we do, probably more than anyone considering you were a profiler. Yeah, I hadn't figured out Tiger had an accomplice, though. Guess I'm one of them, too, now. What can I say? I'm more suited to gathering information from the sidelines, blending in with the surroundings, making small talk. Be, uh, be it online or offline. No wonder Oz hasn't been discovered yet. Arthur seems to be pretty meticulous. Hey, yo, Poggy's in the chat. But that's besides the point. But that's besides the point. Do you see what I'm trying to get at? I do, and I'm okay with it. I sacrificed a lot of things to be a detective. Aside from a couple of people online, I don't have any friends. Oh, that's fucking, that's sad. Not on speaking terms with my family. Missed too many Christmases, you know how it goes. Let alone have the time or energy to date. Maybe it's not the most admirable or healthy thing to do for someone, but my career was everything to me. It was the only thing that gave me purpose. The only thing that made me feel like I had a soul. This is just depressing, Chad. What the fuck? Please, Chad, go touch some grass. God. Oh no. Hydrates. <laughs> Clock, I'm sorry. Arthur is hotter. I like Arthur. That's what I was saying. Ar Arthur is better. Better than uh, Oz. Like I existed. That bastard stole my soul. Stole my very life from me. Oh, I was right. Yeah, true. He is. He just is. I'm sorry. Maybe maybe we'll see more of uh, Oz in the future. That's why, no matter what. Wait, why are we getting... I'm going to get revenge. <gasps> <laughs> well, Artie. <laughs> All right, Pumpkin. You've certainly got resolve. Welcome aboard. Oh. D does that mean... <laughs> Hell yeah, you can stay, Bambi. Wait a second, more drink? <laughs> nice. <sighs> We're gonna be a great team. Alright. I'm glad you're in agreement. 
That means you won't mind sharing a room, will you? <laughs> um, your room, right, Arthur? I get to share a room with you, right, Arthur? Huh? What the fuck do you mean, Arthur? Why? Well... Well, I do have an extra bed for occasional visits. I don't have that many bedrooms, you see. Only two. Then... However, considering you brought them here, Ozzy, I think it's more than fair that you share a room with chat. You certainly don't expect me to do that, do you? I mean, we wouldn't even be in this situation if someone had listened. Scary has gotten a whole other meaning now. Don't mess with Arthur if you know what's good for you. He'll force you into leather pants. <laughs> Ugh, fine. Remember to add the partition. Yeah, yeah, I know. Bambi! Follow me, Bambi. Yes, sir. I guess I'm not one to complain. That's good. <laughs> what are we? What are we, twins? That's some partition, all right. You take the right. You take the right one. I like blue. Eh? Wait, I get the monkey? Monk? The bed. Oh, um, sure. Once Oz takes off his shoes, he jumps into the blue bed and winds onto into his pillow. <sighs> Slowly but surely, my feet finally step into the room and I start gazing around. It's a nice room. It's all right, I guess. What's with the monkey plushie? Unk. It's a bear. It's a bear. Is that a bear? That don't look like no bear plushie. A bear? <laughs> yep, a bear. Or at least an attempt at one. Arthur made it. He's not very good at arts and crafts, but he likes cute things, so he decorates his side of the room. Oh, I thought his room was, uh, well, the other one. Nah. Artie's too nice, so he usually leaves the bigger room for guests. But I guess this time he was really pissed. <laughs> Wait a second. Arthur? You didn't want to sleep with me that bad? And he probably wanted us to get to know each other better or something. Oh my god, he's setting us up. I see. He's setting us up, bro. Setting you up, chat. Your boyfriend's kind of weird, but... It's okay, chat. You'll get used to him. After a slight pause, Oz gets up from the bed. Something the matter? No, no. Uh, why do you ask? Because you've been acting like all fidgetly since we got here. You haven't even sat down yet. As sharp as attack, this guy. Seriously, what's up? I bite my lower lip and hold my arm. Sorry, I, I guess I was feeling a little awkward. I don't even have my stuff with me and the police must be looking all over for us. So I doubt I can go back home anytime soon. Hmm, yeah, that's true. But hey, you're not alone right now. We're a team, remember? <gasps> we'll get you clothes and other things you might need. Bambi. So drop that fucking droopy face already, Bambi. Smile suits you more. Heck, even your angry face. Oh, shut up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you, uh... You can't be serious! No words are necessary. We just nod to each other and hurry over towards Arthur. What, is he watching the news? Arthur, what's wrong? Did something happen? Look for yourselves. Arthur points at the TV, which at first glance seems to be broadcasting the latest news. The target news agency. Bambi! Wait, Bambi, look! Right in front of the Silverings police station, Aslan King is giving a speech while officers, reporters, and curious ba bystanders listen. As expected, both Oz and I seem to have been added to the police's wanted list. Ah, eh, better than most wanted. But the most shocking thing of all is the news header at the bottom of the screen. Aslan King, soon to be chief of police appointed by the Sidarian government, swearing ceremony held in 10 days. What the fuck, man? Damn it all. Damn it all! Bro, actually just set us up. Ten days. Until Aslan becomes the chief of police. To be continued. Alright, alright. 
I assume... Okay, so that's the end. Um, I'm going to see what the different dialogue options do, but I don't think they're going to do that much. Like, I don't think it'll do that much, personally. But maybe we'll get a completely different end, like, different route, I guess, maybe. Uh, T. Cole ruined me. I thought Oz and chat were going to bang. They didn't even bang in T. Cole. Brother. Oh, brother. Damn, I missed it. The big ending. The big sex scene. Oh, my God. You missed it. Oh, my. You missed it, guys. YouTube, you missed it, too. I knew you were looking away. <laughs> The banger music, hell yeah! Hopefully not copyright. Um, let's load up the first save, I guess, and let's um. I don't even want to give this idiot the time of day. Ignore him. Maybe, maybe this time we'll apologize. It's totally his fault. Maybe a little bit my fault too. But I don't know this guy. What if he's violent? It's a little loud still. And I really don't want to flash my ID for something like this. Maybe he's just having a bad day? Hey! Are you listening? Sorry. Was he not expecting that? I'm sorry. It's true that I wasn't paying attention, so I'm partially responsible. Even so, please, you should try to be more attentive, too. Thankfully, it was just some food this time. But someone could get really hurt, you know? Let's both try to be more careful from now on. Oh my god, that was like the most PG fucking response ever. YouTube, make sure to like the video and subscribe! I'm... <sighs> okay, whatever. He's not even angry anymore. He's pissed off. He wanted to have a, a, a swearing fight, Then He wanted to go at it. Average New Yorker. New Yorker. As best as he can manage, the guy retrieves his spilled contents from the ground and gets on his Sorry. bike. Sorry. <laughs> then he leaves. Well, that was something. Oh my god, it's a shame. Wait, skip? Let's buy another one later. Can I skip now? Yes, I can. Get the fuck out of here, all of you. Okay. Uh, you're the one who killed him. This is bad, I'm gonna lose- Hey, I didn't do anything. What? I didn't do anything? Didn't you kill him? Dipshit. Why would it be asking if I did? I'm a killer, not a fucking liar. <laughs> nice. You should sort out your standards, man. Okay, let's suppose for a second that he's actually telling the truth. Who would actually believe that? Like, seriously, this seems pretty damning. For both of us. Even if you didn't kill him, you don't exactly have a clean record. Okay, skip. It looks like the... the it looks like the dialogue's pretty superficial, but... For just for this demo. Uh, not if I kill him first. I, that's what I said. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I still need my job back. Yeah, I still need my... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I need to recover my job eventually, and it'll be even harder if he dies. But I'll make sure to absolutely ruin him so that he can never set foot in this station again. Or any, for that matter. Fucking hell. Do you need some ice with that <laughs> frostiness? Yeah, I do. Still, it's too early to think about how we're going to deal with him. Can't do anything while we're... Oh, yep, that was the most... Okay. All right. Uh, and I think that was it, pretty much. Yeah. All right, all right. It looks like the dialogue options are kind of superficial here. What's his other reaction, I guess? What's his other reaction? I don't even want to give this idiot the time of day. Ignore him. Nah, forget it. I don't even have the slightest interest in entertaining this conversation. Besides, I can always buy another bun later. My job is more important. Are you listening to me? <laughs> no. Let's scram. Disappear. Hasta la vista, random delivery guy. Hey, get back here! Ah, <laughs> dude. Run away. <laughs> Speed! Woo! Made it. Barely. Uh, wait a second. That's the same? I like that one the most, honestly. Okay, and, uh, this is bad. I'm gonna lose my job. Shit, 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 shit. This is bad. This is really bad. At this rate, I'm gonna lose my job. Are you fucking ignoring <laughs> me? Yes. Maybe Aslan will understand if I explain it to him? Hey! I don't have time for stupid questions. You even saw me come into the office, man. Well, I... I didn't fucking kill this guy. Okay, let's suppose for a second that he's actually... He's actually telling the truth. Who would actually believe that? Like, seriously, the scene is pretty damning. For both of us. If you didn't kill him, you don't exactly have... Okay, wait, this is the same. And I think that's, uh... Last option. Tempting, but that would be a mercy. As tempting as that is, it'd still be a mercy. 
You have it too easy. No, that bastard needs to rot in jail. Kinda mild for my taste, but wouldn't be bad to see the trash go where it belongs for once. Nice. He absolutely deserves to be punched, though. <laughs> oh, that I can do. Nice. Still, it's too early to think about how we're gonna deal with him. We can't do anything while we're stuck here. Dipshit. Okay, and that's the same. Okay. Okay, just torture him. The. F <laughs> all right, that is the end of the game. Okay, that is the end of the demo. That's all they got right now. So apparently. The dev is hoping to finish this by 2025, so don't count your stars anytime soon. It's definitely not coming anytime soon. I think they said they they want to put a new, uh, like they want to finish another game before fin coming back to this one, which is kind of surprising. I think it's because I think they mentioned that the artist that did the art for this one, I think they rescinded their copyright from the developer, or maybe they wanted more money or something. Um, so anyways, so I think they have to change all their art. That's what they did in Where Winter Crows Go. Um, they had to change all the art and the like in the voice acting. I believe they had to change the art like multiple times too. Um, so they'll have to change the art in this one too, which is kind of sad because I actually like the art in this one. It looks good. 2025 is crazy though, is it? I don't know. I mean, if you know anything about game development, game development, especially solo, takes a long time. Uh, and if they plan on releasing a whole other game in the middle, yeah, I think uh, I think it makes sense. I like that game, to be honest. Uh, Killer Trade, I, I think it was okay. Definitely seeing... The, I like the plot. Like, I like... Like, um, the plot is really good, I think, of this one. I actually really enjoy it, the whole setup. Um, I don't know if he's supposed to actually be a murderer... It threw me off completely that he's just not a murderer. <laughs> that bro's just not even a murderer, man. Bro's just like, whatever. I just realized there was no CGs in this one either. Very bare bones kind of demo, I'd say. It's just a setup to the story. Um, I like Oz. He is a Smash. Really? I'm more of an Arthur fan right now. I wouldn't smash him because, I mean, that's just not me. But <laughs> Anyways, that was Killer Trait. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, uh, I'm Clock, and I play a lot of visual novels now. Uh, I also do horror games and a couple of triple gay games here and there. Uh, we have a lot of fun in the stream, so make sure to follow the stream. Subscribe to the YouTube if you want to see more content like this. And if you miss a stream, subscribe to the YouTube to see the videos. And leave a like on the video if you liked it, please. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, big stream on December 23rd. I don't know. If you'll see, the stream might already be passed by this point. But we're celebrating 5k subs, so thank you so much for subscribing. You're all awesome, by the way, okay? So happy we could hit 5k. We're going to go for 10k next. Obviously, that's the next goal. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one, okay? Bye.